What is going on everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, what we talk about on this channel is affiliate marketing, making money online and the different side hustles that you can do. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you're subscribed, ding that notification bell and we can get right into the video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the seven passive income ideas that you can do. Now, passive income gets thrown around a ton out there and I'm not going to go and tell you that you can actually just click on a button and everything's going to work out and you can sit on a beach for the rest of your life. In fact, it's not like that. That doesn't exist. In fact, there's just one way to actually really make passive income and I'll tell you about that one right at the end of this video because I want you to stick around until the end as it helps me out a bunch. But there are some other passive income ideas that you can do before that and actually build up and actually put in the work and you're not going to get paid right up front like you would at a normal job or something like that. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to work, work, work and then after a while it will pay dividends and it will start to actually pay you some money and you will be able to make money while you sleep and that's just the way it is. So that's exactly what some of these, that's exactly what I do. Some other ones, that's exactly what a lot of people do. And I know for a fact that all of these work and I also know for a fact that if you do nothing, you will not be able to make some passive income. So that was a quick disclaimer I really wanted to put out there because I'm not going to tell you that you can just make money just like that, like a lot of people do, and just hope for people to stick around. Instead, I'm going to tell you the truth of what you can do to actually make passive income. So with that being said, let's get into the first one. So the first one that I know is, you know, ebook publishing. You could do this in a Kindle format, like on Amazon, for example. And what this consists of is actually making ebooks for different people, different categories of people. So if you know something about something, you can either write your, the book yourself if you're good at writing or something like that, or you can actually hire someone on something like Fiverr, for example. Fiverr is a very good place for you to actually hire people and you know find some people that are actually good at writing and just find someone that can actually write a book in a specific subject for you. And then you can go to Upwork again and hire somebody to, to make the cover. But you can also do it yourself on Canva, for example. Canva is a free tool. That's where I edit most of my thumbnails. Or you can hire out somebody else to do it. It's not going to be that expensive to hire someone to actually do this. So just find someone that knows a thing or two about ebook covers and find another person that can actually write the ebook for you. And you know, these ebooks are, you're going to ha actually learn, have to learn how to promote them and actually make some money that way. Because if nobody knows about your book, then nobody's going to buy it. But once it starts to gain some traction, and I'm not going to get into all the details about Amazon Kindle publishing, there are some videos on YouTube about that if you're interested, but, once it starts to get the ball rolling, then you can actually get people to buy your book while you sleep, while you're sleeping, while you're walking your dog, while you're eating or whatever it may be, having a drink or something. You can actually make money that way. So that's one of the things that you can do. So the next one is going to be print on demand. Now, print on demand is actually a very, very good way to actually make passive income. It's not the best in my opinion, just because of one factor, and that is that you're actually going to have products that are going to return if people don't like them for whatever reason it may be. Now, you can actually automate this and just get it sent right back to the people that are printing it and they send out, you know, the money back or something like that. So that's a way to get around it. But basically print on demand is where you print things no matter what it is, whether it's a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, the hats, you know, you name it, cups, whatever it is, you can actually make some, some money just printing things on that. So if you have a good design, and again, there are plenty of videos about that on YouTube. If you have a good design that you know is going to sell, and, but you may not know how many you're going to sell because maybe you're going to sell one, 
maybe you're going to send 10,000, hundreds of thousands. It doesn't matter because those companies are actually able to print it and just send it out as the orders come in. So if you get one, t one person that's ordering it, then they print it, send it to that person, another one, they print that and they send it to that person. So there's no inventory that you have to take care of or anything like that. It's just going to sell by itself. Now, again, when I say selling it by itself, you also have to make sure that you have some sort of way that people are going to know about your product. Maybe you're going to do this through Instagram or something like that. Maybe you're going to pay some influencers or there are some other ways that you can do this. One way to do it is through Facebook ads where you can actually sell the t-shirts for people that are fans of something. So you know that sports teams are something big and people are very, very proud to be a, a part of a sports team or a fan of a sports team. So what you can do is create a t-shirt specifically for the fans of that particular team. And you can sell another one for another team, but or even the same store for another team. And just have these categories and people are going to be fans of that and they want to show their appreciation for that team. So if you create things like that specifically with it, when there's a championship that's going on or something like that, people are going to be very keen to do that. And you can target those people on Facebook. So that's a very good way to actually promote your t-shirts and make the t-shirts that are actually going to sell. Sell t-shirts that are going to be, that people are just going to be raving on about. They like that, so they're going to sell it. So again, I would advise you to watch some videos about that if you're interested in that, but it's definitely a great way to do it. And I have not done this before, but I'm not saying that I will never do it because I find this fascinating, so I might do that in the future. So the next one is to create a niche specific website. Now, a lot of people might hear this and think that it's something crazy and it might sound crazy, but think of it, have you ever been on Google to ask a question and then you know that you get some suggested websites that are going to answer that specific question? You click on that and that is a specific niche specific website. So what that is, is basically when you create a, a website around a, a subject, a specific subject, and people are going to land on that and because they want to hear about that specific subject, they have questions about that. So what you can do is to actually create those websites and answer those questions. Maybe it's going to be, what's the best camera for vlogging? So you create a list, you know, explaining the different things that that particular camera can do, no matter what it is. And you just list a few cameras that are potentially going to, to be good cameras for vlogging. And you tell them which are the best ones, which ones, you know, what are the pros and what are the cons of those, those particular cameras. And you just list a few out there. And what you can do is either you can put some ads on that website. Google ads is a great way to have some ads. I've used Google ads before and it's quite easy to actually put it up on your website. Or you can do affiliate marketing. You can even combine both if you want to. But affiliate marketing. So if you take that example of the best vlogging cameras, then you can go to Amazon and actually sign up for their affiliate program and then just list all of them and put your affiliate marketing link to each one of those cameras that you listed. So no matter which one people choose in the end, they're going to click on that, buy it, and you're going to get paid for that. So Amazon is just an example. It's not the best way to make some money on with affiliate marketing. And I've talked about this you know, a ton and I, I actually have a full playlist on affiliate marketing in the description if you want to watch that and in the pinned comment. But basically, you get the idea, you put an affiliate link, people that are thinking about buying that specific subject are going to click on it, buy it and you make a commission. Now, it is going to take you some time to rank up on Google. So that's why it's, you know, just like any thing that you that's actually worth doing that's actually going to take you some time but once you actually do it then 
you can do you can actually make a ton of money now i do want to say something that i did not mention in the beginning of this video and that is that most people quit when they don't see results i don't want you to be one of them just keep doing it keep working no matter which one you choose in that list no matter which how hard you're working don't quit when you're not getting results because after not getting results guess what you are getting some results so that's something that you want to keep in mind and let's get into the next one so the next one is youtube ads or actually it's called google ads because it's just the same it's actually making a youtube channel that's based around a specific subject just like i'm doing in online business for example but you can create and no matter what your niche is no matter what your interests are you can actually create a youtube channel around that and once you get to a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time thanks for subscribing and actually watching all of my playlists <laughs> because i'm not there yet so that was pretty smooth but you get the idea once you get to a thousand followers or subscribers and four thousand watch hours in the last year then you will have some ads that will show up on your videos and that is a great way to actually make some money because it's really passive you you made the, those videos those youtube videos you have a whole library of youtube videos and people are actually going to to watch those videos you have seen this on google it's on youtube i'm sure about that when you have an ad that interrupts you in the middle of the video at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video and that's when you actually get paid or the creator gets paid so if you're the creator you're going to get paid just by getting some ads on your videos so i'm not there yet but i am planning to get there so make sure you're subscribed and watch all of my playlists as long as possible because the watch time is the hardest part to get so make sure that you do that but you get the idea if you make a youtube channel that actually helps people and that's the other thing you don't want to chase the money in any of those instead you want to create the best experience possible for the people that are watching for the people that are are helping you are you know getting help from you because people want their best interest in mind so if you can help as many people as possible people are going to help you in return so make sure that the you don't focus on the money but instead you focus on helping people and the money will come by doing that so the next one is my favorite one for sure and it's not the last one in this video but it is my favorite one and that is affiliate marketing that's where i make most of my money i make my money from tiktok mostly from affiliate marketing on tiktok and how that works is basically you have a link that's linked to some some website whether it's apple amazon you name it all these big companies have an affiliate program and you might have some you know some have requirements to get into that uh, their program some don't but the idea of that is actually when people click on your link they get sent right to to that website and they don't pay extra but they you get paid a commission so you can do that with youtube i do this with youtube you can do that with tiktok you can do this with twitter you can do this with basically anything you name it all it is is somewhere where you can put a link and create some sort of content so that can be a website youtube channel tiktok account instagram account there's so many ways that you can do this so if you're interested in actually learning about affiliate marketing there's two ways that you can do this one you can click the link in the description and that will get you somewhere where you can actually have a challenge for 15 days where you can actually learn everything that you need to know but you can also check the link also in the description of my affiliate marketing playlist and i will also put that in the pinned comment so you can watch that and that's for free that's on youtube so you can do that for sure the next one that i'm going to talk about is real estate now you will have to have some sort of money to actually buy some real estate but once you put someone in that place people are going to pay you a rent and you're going to get paid every single month for basically doing nothing just waiting around basically and you're going to get paid just because you actually purchased that now if the tenants move out you're going to have to find some new tenants and if they have some sort of trouble that you know somewhere you know the sink is le leaking or something like that you will have to deal with that as well 
So that's one thing that you have to be aware of. So it's not 100% passive and you do have to put some money as well. Now, I don't have real estate. I will probably in the future, but right now I don't. And real estate is really passive because there's not really that much that you have to do. You can even hire someone to actually deal with that for you. But most of the time, there's not that much that you need to do unless you have like a ton of tenants that you have to deal with a ton of buildings but you it will take some time to build that up so you know that's a great one but it's not the best one and it's specifically not the most passive income that you can do and we're going to get into the most passive that you can do ever and that to me is the only one that's a hundred percent passive income and that is investing in stocks now if you invest in stocks they're going to compound growth over time so you want to invest every single month but you can actually just do that right from the, uh, the start and you can just program it to invest the same day every single month every se second week no matter what you choose to do but you, the thing is you want to actually deal consistently now the stock market is basically going up by 10 percent every single month or every single year so what's going to happen is no matter what money you're going to put in it's going to grow and the more money you have the more it's going to grow so it's going to have a curve just like this and it's going to explode so basically at the beginning you're not making much you're making maybe a few dollars maybe a few cents and it's just and you're going to reinvest every single month because if you're getting paid dividends, you're going to put them back in. And if you do that, that's where it's going to have a trajectory like this. And that's when you're just going to get paid for absolutely doing nothing. Just getting paid for actually holding something that you have. Now, you don't want to buy them and sell them. You want to have some ones that are really strong. Think of, you know, Apple. Think of Coca-Cola. Things like that that are... That have been there for quite a while and that have been growing for a very long time. That's something that you want to focus on. You don't want to focus on one that's just exploding and then maybe it's going to come crashing down again. Maybe not, but you don't want to take your chances. You want to have something that you can hold for a very long time. Think of something that you, you don't want to touch it for basically at least three to four years. And it's just going to compound over time and then you don't have to worry about money ever again and you can basically sit on the beach so that's the real passive income that's the best way to make passive income but it also requires you to actually have a ton of patience because it's not going to go overnight and a lot of people say that yes you can't do this because otherwise everybody would be doing it and that is true because most people they want to invest a thousand dollars and then never have to worry about it again. But instead you want to put hundreds, but invest it consistently over time, every single month, every single two weeks, whatever you choose to do. But you have to be at least every single month, invest some money, invest a hundred dollars, invest 200, 300. It doesn't matter. Whatever you can do, if you can put $10,000 a month into that, put $10,000 into that. But make sure you have enough to live so that you don't have to take it from that and allow it to grow. And once you have the money that's going to fall into your bank account all the time, you know, the dividends that are going to just come in, that's when you can start using that money and still keep your portfolio growing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you watch my full playlist on affiliate marketing because I'm sure that you're going to have a ton of value into that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.